Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss about maturity or future value. The objectives for our lesson today are first define maturity value, second compute maturity value using method one, and the third one is to compute maturity value using method two. Now let's discuss maturity value. What is maturity value? We have here maturity or future value. We have here the formula F is equal to P plus I sub S, where F stands for maturity or future value and P stands for the principal and I sub S is the simple interest. So this first formula is for method one. Now, for method 2, we have F is equal to P times 1 plus rate times time. This is where F is, is the maturity or future value, P is the principal, R is the interest rate, and T is the term or time in years. Now, let's have some examples. Okay, now let's have example number one. Find the maturity value if 1 million pesos is deposited in a bank at an annual simple interest rate of 0.25% after A, 1 year, and B, 5 years. So we have the given, the principal which is 1 million pesos, we have the rate of 0.25% or in decimal form that is 0 0.0025 and we are going to find the maturity or future value after one year and after five years. So, duha tong pangitaon, ang time nga, one year and ang ikaduha ang five years. So, we, let's solve first letter A. When T is equal to 1, or time is equal to 1. The simple interest is given by, you have this method 1. Pangitaon sa natudaan si simple interest. So, let's substitute. Given si principal, that is 1 million. The rate is 0 0.0025 and the time is 1. So, multiplying all of them, that gives us 2,500. So, atong interest rate sa 1 million na capital at 0 0.0025 is 2,500. Now, let's continue. This is the method one, the formula, multiplying all of them, we got 2,500. Now, in looking for the maturity or future value, we are going to use the method one formula, which is F is equal to P plus I sub S. So, F Substitute P and the in simple interest, we have 1 million plus 2,500. Therefore, the future value is 1 million and 2,500. Now, let's solve for method 2. To directly solve the future value, we are going to use this formula. So, the principal is 1 million times 1 plus the rate is 0 0.0025 and the time is 1. So multiplying all of them together, solving them, that gives us the future value of 1 million and 2,500, which is the same from what we got in method 1. So our answer here, the future or maturity value after one year is 1 million and 2,500. Now, let's solve for B. We have here, when time is equal to 5, the simple interest is given by the method 1. Looking for the simple interest, let's multiply the capital, which is, or the principal, which is 1 million pesos, times the rate, which is 0 0.0025, and the time, which is 5 years. So, multiplying all three of them, that gives us, 12,500. So the interest rate of 1 million with interest rate of 0 0.0025 for 5 years is 12,500. The, the maturity or future value is given by 
the formula, which is F, is equal to P plus I sub S. Substituting the principal and the simple interest, we have 1 million plus 12,500. Therefore, the future or maturity value is 1 million and 12,500. But when we solve that using method 2, we are going to solve it directly using the formula F is equal to P times 1 plus rate times time. So, substituting the principal is 1 million plus times 1 plus the rate is 0 0.0025 and the time is 5. So, multiplying all of them, we, that gives us 1 million and 12,500. And this is the same with method 1. So, our answer for this one is the future or maturity value after 5 years is 1,012,500 pesos. Okay, that's it for today everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something and you may now enjoy your quiz. Thank you.